All right, welcome back to another video uh, for now the asset starts and and I believe vulnerabilities uh, uh, series. <clears throat> and in this video, I'll be going over decrypting and uh, an encrypted message, which I actually uh, have another video in another series where I actually went over this, but this is in a, a different, it's more contextual in the sense of uh, particularly for a security profession. Uh, and I mean, this is, this is, you know, be somewhat redundant, but I wanted to have a scope with the scenario particular to a security professional. But nonetheless, uh, before in the video, when I talked about uh, or mentioned cryptography and the basis of it and how encryption and decryption can be used to secure information online, right? Uh, I also introduced, uh, I don't think, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, the Caesar CIFET, I'm sorry, uh, Cypher. Uh, for one of the earliest cryptographic algorithms used to protect um, folks' privacy, right? But as a security professional, it's important that you know we we understand the role of encryption to secure data online, and and also that you're familiar with the right uh, right security controls to do to do so. So what I'm going to do is actually go through some basic cryptographic activities uh, using some Linux commands to decrypt files and reveal some hidden messages. Right, so to paint the scenario, um, all of the files in my home directory have been encrypted, right? So I'll need to use, of course, Linux command to break the Caesar cipher and decrypt the file so that I can read the hidden messages that they may contain. I'll go through a few steps of doing this, uh, exploring the contents of the home directory, uh, finding a, the hidden file and decrypting the the, uh, the contents, and then decrypting, of course, the, uh, the encrypted file to recover uh, my data to rebuild uh, finally, the message. So nonetheless, we can go ahead and get started with first reading the contents of a file. So I'm already in, should be in the analyst directory. Let's see, there we go. So what I'm going to do is now use the list command to list the files that I have here. And I got the readme uh, text document. Uh, Caesar file, Q1, or quarter one encrypted. All right, so I technically have two files and a subdirectory, which is the Caesar, right? And the readme text file, it, I believe it contains a, a, an important message uh, with instructions. All right, so I'm just going to concatenate that. Um, There it is. All of your data has been encrypted to recover your data. You would need to solve a cipher to get started. Look for a hidden file in the seizure subdirectory, which is fine, right? And what I'm going to do now is just find that hidden file, right, and solve the seizure cipher that protects it, right? So let's go ahead and find that hidden file. So first, I'm going to change directory to this subdirectory seizure. So. Perfect, there we go. So now I'm gonna use the list command, right, to command, So and then also the subtract lowercase a to list all of the files, including any hidden files in the, uh, the home directory as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And I can see left shift three, right, which the hidden file that's in Linux, which is the name of it, um, at least identified by, by Linux uh, as left shift three, right? Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is concatenate left shift. So let's do this here. Actually, capitalize stop here. Okay, so we got some encryption here. So it looks like it's a bit scrambled, right? And this is because the data, it looks like it has been encrypted using the Caesar cipher, as I mentioned. So the cipher can be solved by excuse me, shifting each alphabet character to the left or to the right, typically, uh, by a fixed number of spaces. So uh, for this particular example, the shift is going to be three letters or possibly maybe three letters to the left, if I remember correctly. Thus, D stands for A and E stands for B, right, for example. So I can actually decrypt it uh, by using this command here.
Well, <laughs> I don't know how to spell. It's always user error, right? In order to recover your files, you will need to enter the following command. You have open secure socket layer, yes, which is encryption pretty much. And what happens is, let me give you a breakdown before I continue with my command also. So with the TR command, the TR portion of the command, right? It translates text from one set of characters uh, to another using a mapping, right? And so the first parameter to the TR command, it just represents the input set of characters. And the second represents the output set of characters. And so if I use parameters or if I provide parameters like a quotation ABCD and PQRS and the input to a uh, string to the TR command is AC, then the output string will be PR just to you know give that heads up. But nonetheless, uh, looks like I have to enter another command here, but I'm just gonna to return to my home directory first. Actually do that. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is attempt to decrypt a file. So uh, I've solved the Caesar cipher technically, so that's really the first layer, right? So now I'm gonna uh, use the command that was revealed to me in the last step uh, with this these um, here as far as this command right, to decrypt the, a file and then recover my data so that I can read the message that it may have in it. So I'm going to listen to what it tells me. I'm going to do open secure socket layer. If it lets me write. There it is. <clears throat> All right, so I have the command in there. So let's go ahead and enter. Hmm, okay, nothing. So let me break down the command since I didn't receive anything. So the uh, what the OpenSSL portion of it does, it just uh, command reverses the encryption of the file with the secure symmet symmetric cipher as indicated by the AES-256 uh, CBC, right? So what this does is the PBKDF2 uh, is pretty much used to add extra security to the key. And then this portion here indicates that the desired encoding for the output. And this indicates decrypting, of course. And uh, the N here, right, it just specifies the input file and the out. Um, here, right, and specifies the output file, uh, Q1 encrypted, output Q1 recovered, of course, and then the K it specifies the password, which is this, in this example is at root, I guess. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm just gonna list the, now that I'm in the working directory, I'm just gonna list the contents again. All right, okay, so it looks like the new, let me see. Up here. Okay, yeah, Q1 recovered now shows when initially it didn't, as you can see here. I was just double checking. So we have Q1 recovered in a directory listing in the decrypted files, and it um, contains the message. So I'm, I'm just going to concatenate that and here, Q1 recovered. You are able to read this, then you have successfully decrypted the classic ciphertext. You recovered the encryption key that was used to encrypt this file. Great work. Um, yeah, that was, <laughs> I wish it was a bit, bit more difficult. I'm actually going to come up with another one. The last one that I did was actually in the other series. It's actually a bit more intensive, uh, but this one was just, you know, bare bones. And I also wanted to uh, cover, cover it over again. I feel like it's very super important. Uh, for these type of exercises. But nonetheless, 
This brings me to the end of the video. Just for a brief recap for the conclusion, I uh, went ahead and uh, demonstrated uh, practical experience with Linux bash shell commands to list hidden files, uh, decrypt a Caesar cipher, and decrypt an encrypted file as well. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I can't wait to come back with the next video uh, for asset threats and uh, I'm still not sure what the last one is, is asset threats and something else I forget. Uh, but nonetheless, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay curious, stay secure.